well as a as a member of law commission of india right for uh the responsible to hindu succession act that has given equal rights to daughters of to daughters in the joint family in india joint daughters in joint family properties अलीकडच्या काळात तुम्ही बघितला असेल की वडिलांच्या प्रॉपर्टी मध्ये मुलाच्या बरोबरचा हिस्सा मुलीचा आहे सो दॅट हॅज कम बाय दिस लेडी राईट सो शी हॅड लुक टू इन टू इट अँड शी शी हॅड वॉट आय कॅन से पास्ट दॅट पर्टिक्युलर पर्टिक्युलर इशू डॉटर equal share of the joint family property so this is about anyway our focus was about the first woman chief justice of high court image himachal pradesh high court and the name of the lady uh, is the leela set right i think i don't have any problem about no problem sir Okay, thank you. Screen no is clear, so, sir. This is about uh, the first woman chief justice of any of the high courts. The next we can consider here is uh, the speaker of Lok Sabha. Right. So first woman speaker of लोकसभा एंड नेम इज मीरा कुमार यस मीरा मीरा कुमार मीरा कुमार एक्झॅक्टली सो शी वॉज इलेक्टेड अनपोज फॉर एज अ स्पीकर ऑफ लोकसभा एंड अर टेन्यू इयर वॉज फ्रॉम टू थाउजंड नाईन टू 2014 most of us might have rather most of you might have uh, seen her right so as as a speaker of uh, lok sabha so uh, it's a what we can say she was a daughter rather she is a daughter of uh, jagjeevan ram right far more now hai a renowned politician right of or who has really contributed much more in, in india's development right uh, long back she had been elected to the lok sabha for five times right so and in 2009 she was elected unopposed as a speaker of lok sabha right so what you can consider elected on a post fine then next which we can consider the woman first woman uh speaker since we have considered now lok sabha right you must be thinking about rajya sabha it is vacant right again here uh, cci is vacant the right? chief justice of india or the first uh, woman of chief justice of india till they uh, till they no one right as far as rajya sabha no one fine so next one first
first woman speaker of state assembly any of the shunnu devi vidhan sabha adhyaksha yes and the name is shanno devi she was she was the speaker of the haryana legislative state assembly right so haryana legislative assembly I think uh, she was from nineteen sixty six to nineteen sixty seven. So around uh, exactly from December to March, right? so around sixteen, fifteen, sixteen months, she was the uh, speaker of the Haryana uh, Legislative Assembly. And so woman. first woman speaker of area of the state assembly is shanno devi fine now next in this comes 11 the first woman president of president of united nations general assembly general vijay lakshmi pandit vijay lakshmi yes. pandit you know the vijay is yes vijay lakshmi pandit right Vijay Lakshmi Pandit is the name who had been the president, woman uh, president. Now see, this is from India, right? And you know, this is this is of United Nations. So, first Indian lady or the first Indian woman who had been the president of uh, the United Nations. That doesn't mean that she was also the first lady president of UN. general assembly right so okay here understand the question right our title is of india or home by india right so in this particular case you know the representatives in the united nations assembly uh, vote for this particular position and which is early, uh, which is a uh, yearly basis right so it is yearly basis now what that particular president is doing so president always presides over the sessions of general assembly in that particular year right so when did she become uh, when did she become the president of un nation that was in 19 1953 yes exactly 1953 right. she had become the president of united nations and that was i think eighth session of un nation right eighth session of un nation suppose if it if 1953 is the eighth session then when did the fourth session so eight years back if you go you will find out the uh, yes and what about uh, current session so what is number of current session now see you i guess you all are preparing for spi and we have also considered uh, some sort of uh, uh, reasoning right so in that case आज है तर काय दिवसानंतर काय आहे का सो दॅट मीन्स व्हॉट इफ टुडे इज फ्रायडे देन वुड बी द डे अपडेट 
this that that sort of things we have considered so likewise here so 53 was the eighth one now 53 and uh, 2020 so how much is the difference i think and then what what would be the session maybe 74th 68 I think so so anyway uh, whatever the question whatever the thing which i wanted to convey that, that 74th is, that session yes 74th so that you have to always uh, consider for that particular thing right anyway uh, next we can consider is about the next one first woman lawyer right this question Corlina is about yes yes mandar cornelia Saurabh Cornelia Saurabh ji. Yes. Right. So, Cornelia Saurabh ji uh, was the first of India. So, if you know this particular lady, she was also the first female graduate of uh, or from Bombay University. Right. Then, uh, to study, uh, let's say, to study the law at Oxford University. Again, she was the first lady from India to study the law at Oxford University. And, he, uh, and also, she was a first lady to advocate in uh, India. That means, India's first lawyer right, is Cornelia Sorabji, which we can consider. Fine. One more thing is associated with her name. That is, she was the first woman to practice the law in India as well as Britain. Right, Astana. I look, uh, there are some lawyers who practice in Supreme Court as well as in High Courts. Likewise, she was the first lawyer to practice a law in India and Britain. Fine. So that is the case about Cornelia Sorabji, which we can consider. Fine. Now, in this case, uh, we can consider Lady Miss World. Right. So first woman Miss World from India. Rita Faria. Faria. Miss Rita Faria. Right. Rita Faria. Yes. So let's see. Rita. Rita Faria. Rita Faria, Rita Faria Powell. And then she married to a uh, to a person, uh, to a doctor whose surname is Powell. Right. So. Her name is Rita Faria Powell. Powell. So yes. basically she was from Goa. Right? And prior to Miss World, uh, she was uh, Miss Mumbai, uh, Miss India, Miss Mumbai. Right? Then uh, what we can consider? I think uh, she, was, was, she was also practicing the modeling. Right? So she was an Indian model, basically doctor. Right. So, uh, she became Miss World in 1966. 1966. Yes. Fine. And she is the first Asian woman to win the event. Right. To that particular event, right? So first, uh, first Asian woman to win. Also, 
she was first to qualify this right or she was the first to win this as doctor again first as doctor right so and then uh, she had no doubt she she has started uh, doing modeling right so you can consider another titles to her about she was miss india hello miss mumbai right so these were the other titles which we can consider but our focus is first lady miss world right uh, she became miss world in 1966 and the name is rita falia fine uh, later on you know after living a life uh she started then doing social work and she along with her husband had gone to uh, one of the african countries and then she started the social work right so uh that was the case which we can consider fine is the is about the uh first lady right which we can uh consider as the miss world so now if you consider the next one forty now first woman ambassador right ambassador and the name is uh, cb muthamma cornia belipa muthamma right yes total uh, the the full form of the cb now belly appa mutham in this particular case you know she was the first to clear ics now nowadays it is uh, is right in those days it was ics so first to clear or the first woman to clear ics right so indian civil services right then she was the first woman to first to join yes uh, in foreign indian foreign services i f s right so first to join as indian uh, first to join an indian for services so again she was first woman diplomat she was first woman diplomat right which we can consider fine then in this particular case if you consider she was the also first high commissioner fine so these were the things and obviously then she was she was the, the ambassador so from india any of the lady right who had been the ambassador right and if you consider that, that to be first then she is the cb mutham right next
हरिता कोर देवल They are not allowed to enter into the Indian forces. Now, even BSF is also recruiting the women. Right. So, first to last, everyone now, every field is acquiring the uh, or being uh, fields are being acquired by the ladies. So, it was about the uh, woman pilot, right. it's not the fighter pilot, which we can consider here. Right. Now, Harita Kaur is yes, Harita the, in in Indian Air Force, right? In nineteen ninety three, it was decided to uh, employ women's. And in this particular case, in 1993, it was decided to allow women to, uh, to be the part of Indian forces. And that was first uh, started for the Indian Air Force. Right. So, see, uh, Harita, uh, Harita Kaur Dewal, when she, was, she, uh, when she became the pilot in Indian Air Force, at that time, she was only of 22 years. Right. Then, what what kind of glory she had done? So she was the first to fly solo in IF, right? This is very important. First to fly solo, right? In IF, and unfortunately, on second September nineteen ninety four, right? So in nineteen ninety three, there were included in the uh, what we can consider um, uh, allowed on, on 2nd September 1994 after clearing um, uh, what what we can consider after clearing training so she uh, she flied a solo in IF on 2nd September 1994 Right, 93 entry. Right after completing training, she started doing the solo flight by 2nd September or in, in the month of September 1994. Now, you know, oh, unfortunately, two years later, uh, exactly on 24th December. of December 1996. So it was 25th December, sir. Sorry? So it was, he was at, she was at, at 25th December. 25th December, right? Yes, sir. Okay, anyway. So, in the month of December 1996, uh, the, 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 the plane was crashed, right? And in that particular plane, apart from her, there were seven other uh, women cadets, right? So, and, and also uh, other year persons, 24 year persons. So, all were died in that particular crash, right? So, at the age, uh, she had, uh, at, at very early age, she had died, right? But the So, first woman pilot in Indian Air Force is Harita Kaur Deol. Right? Yeah. So, that, that we can consider. Fine. 
then next here is about the let's say lieutenant general right or highest uh, positions acquired by the women in indian process so let let's consider about army so lieutenant general right lieutenant general you know it is a three star rank don't forget this right and then obviously the second most right which we can consider and the name of the right, first woman lieutenant general punita and yes the name is punita arora right as we have considered so basically she was doctor right and you know fmc right so armored forces medical college right so fms institutions which we can consider right i think uh, as one of the entries we have uh, considered to be to be a commission officer right? so in that particular case we have uh, considered it then punita arora uh, she had entered uh, into into afmc right afmc admission or admitted admitted in 1963 and after 5 years she got commission right so she became lieutenant commissioned in 1968 right after finishing her uh, studies she became the commissioned officer please follow the instructions right same thing should not be uh, need not to be repeated mission in 1968 she had also commanded the same institute right where she had started doing her studies so commanded afms armored forces medical uh, medical sciences institutions right institutions uh, sorry uh, this is a group she had afmc she had commanded the uh, armored forces medical college which is at pune right so there is a branch called afms armored forces medical sciences institutions so you can have so many such institutions across the india and in this particular case if you consider right the particularly doctors right, who who are working as basically as doctor but as i already said there is a beauty in this particular uh, field that you can uh, you have a inter service right or you can change your services suppose if you enter into the uh, army and if you want to go into the air force then you are allowed or if you want to go into the uh, navy then you are allowed the right? only thing is that whatever may be their conditions that must be followed right and because of that right as such kind of exchange or as such kind of changes in services is allowed the same lady right punita arora who who was lieutenant general could become vice admiral so india's first woman vice admiral which we can consider again you know 
it is this is the rank of the equivalent lecturer in general and it is also of the three star rank right so vice admir you know again in the same year along with this lady right perhaps the she might be her best friend or she might be her uh, colleague she might be her classmate right and that is we can consider the next here is first woman year marshal again sorry a equivalent to year marshal equivalent to vice admiral and equivalent to lieutenant general which is again a three star rank right the here i am just making you remember about these things right nothing else and the name of the first woman year marshal is padmavati bandopadhyay padmavati bandopadhyay yes equivalent post was transfer away right padmavati but what i said if you could fulfill the criteria right that is certain kind of training as per basic that the training you have done is still tarach shakya bando padhyay fine so again as like punita arora she joined or she got admitted in afmc in 19 63 after completing their medical studies they right, uh, got commissioned in 1968 right so here you can consider about the this particular title right so uh, which you, which you can uh, only basically thing is that uh, punita arora has uh, joined the uh, army right in 1968 and uh, right here i will write army and she joined indian air force that was the basic difference in between these two and you know as i said so in this particular case Punita Arora was the first. She is again first woman to command, right? Uh, AFMC. First woman to command the uh, Armoured Medical College, right? Armoured Medical Forces College, AFMC. Fine. So, uh, right. I think next. Uh, other things you know already right? she moved from uh, army to navy as as afms right and that that is a common pool which will allow the officers to migrate from one service to another service the condition is that you must fulfill the criteria of that particular service where you want to get uh, migrate right so this is about the all together lieutenant general vice admiral and uh, air marshal so india's first woman right in these three forces so i think we are at the end of the session fine so i think most of the things we have